What is going on guys, Casual Savage here. In this video I'm talking about iOS 8 announced features, compatibility, release date and everything you need to know. So before I start, I just want to say I'm very excited about this. As you know, WWDC 2014 has kicked off and I'll be sharing you the information throughout the event. Now there is a lot of information as you can imagine, WWDC has revealed a lot of information and I'm going to try and break it down as short as I can. So sit back and enjoy. So first of all we're going to go ahead and talk about the features. Design. iOS 8 is more clean and polished than its rushed procedure iOS 7. Interactive notifications. Up till iOS 7, the only way to interact with notifications is by tapping on the notification itself, which will in turn launch the app and then you can talk about your business. But iOS 8 takes things up to a notch by introducing interactive notifications. Simply swiping left or down on the notifications will let you reply to a text message, tweet, etc. No need to launch the whole app itself from now on. The interactive notifications extend to the lock screen as well. Next thing I'm talking about is frequent contacts in multitasking view. Double tapping the home button will take you to the multitasking view, but there's more this time. Instead of getting a glance of the apps that you are running in the background, iOS 8 now lets you go through contacts on your iOS device which you'll frequently interact with. Safari tab view mode iOS 8 takes the integration between Apple's desktop OS a step further and on iPad you get the same tab view mode in Safari allowing you quickly accessing your bookmarks, history and other stuff under one window. New mail gesture the mail app in iOS 8 seems simple tweaks littered throughout the UI and now with a simple swipe gesture you can trash, flag and see more details for an email. Previously this feature was limited to deleting an email and seeing more details regarding it. A small change, but notable one for those who find themselves a lot using Apple's mobile mail app. Spotlight on iOS 8 now does more than just searching your device for messages, contacts, emails, etc. You can now search for apps, news, news songs, you name it, and Spotlight will find it for you. Quick Type Keyboard This is a change which many users have been crying for since the inception of iOS. Quick type now shows you suggestions for words as you're typing right above the keyboard in a smaller bar. It also supports predictive suggestions and will, as you guessed, guess words as you're typing in a sentence. And over time it will learn your typing habits and will throw your suggestions based on your actions and how you type. Messages. The new tweaked messages app in iOS 8 allows you to add or remove people from a group conversation. And also allows you to enable do not disturb, thread voice and share location with your contacts. Tap to talk is a new feature that made the cut in messages in iOS 8. It works exactly like how you would expect it to. Tap the little mic icon on the right of the text box, record a message, let go of the button to send it to the person you want it to. And it's that simple. Animations. Apple took a serious hammering from its user base with the original release of iOS 7 in the system animation department. The issue was addressed with iOS 7.1, but iOS 8 well and truly addresses the issue even more. Apple has reduced the number of animations throughout the US and has sped things up a little, giving the whole OS a more speedy feel to it. iPhone, iPad and Mac connected together. With iOS 8 and OS X 10.10, you can now share files via AirDrop. Send and receive SMS and phone calls on Mac via iPhone. HealthKit and HomeKit. Apple has finally taken the wraps off HealthKit. It's centralized hub for all your health related alerts and notifications. It's really interesting how HealthKit actually works. It allows third party apps to hook into the native health app on iOS 8 and then show you all your progress in one in a beautiful UI. If you have a fuel band or one of those health trackers from Jawbone, then instead of launching a specific or supporting app, just launch health app and all your progress is there waiting for you. Health is just not a mere app in iOS 8. It is more like a complete fitness center for the user. It also allows professionals to send their user data pertaining to their checkups. Also added is support for HomeKit, which enables iOS devices to control home mechanization devices using Siri. 
Family sharing. iOS 8 grants the users to set up their whole family as one unit, after which iOS 8 will automatically share photos, calendar events, reminder alerts, etc. But there's even more. It allows you to define your kids and their devices. And using Find My iPhone, you can see where your kids are, which is pretty handy, I guess. Family sharing also allows you to share music, movies, TV shows with one another. And guess what? You can also share apps and even an iTunes account. And yes, you need permission to buy apps from your parents. Photos. Apple is taking photos to a whole new level with the release of iOS 8. You can now have more photos in iCloud than you have ever had in your device. Editing is also getting a boost with iOS 8, which will now sync edited photos across devices, a feature which Apple is doubling a smart editing. You get a new editing control and sliders, which truly gives the power of editing in the user's hand. All videos and photos are stored in iCloud in full resolution, and you can get the first 5GB absolutely free. 20GB for 99p per month, 20GB for £2.40 going all the way to 1TB. Siri. Siri has also received an update in iOS 8 and now she constantly listens to your voice and the simple Hey Siri, how twerd wakes her up, ready to take your queries. Siri now also features Shazam, song recognition, purchase content from iTunes, streaming voice recognition and 22 new dictation languages. Maps. Maps on iOS has always been a disaster for a lot of places and Apple is doing everything in its grip to make things right and for users in China Apple has announced that maps have been greatly improved App Store the App Store has remained largely unchanged for years except for some UI tweaks here and there but in iOS 8 Apple takes to make app discovery a lot better with the introduction of trending searches a new explore tab and continuous scrolling browsing through a long list of apps. Apart from the earlier mentioned changes, Apple has introduced app bundles, which as the name suggests, allows you to purchase a bundle of apps, negating the need of making multiple purchases for a larger number of apps. A painful process if you're a serial app buyer. Developers now have the option to add app previews, which is a small video showing off how the app works. Mind it, this is not a trial, but a just video. Test Flight, a new section which allows users and developers to try out beta apps, has been announced by Apple for the new App Store. And the best part, it's absolutely free to try and use. Extensibility, apps made for iOS 8 have been granted new superpowers by folks in Cupertino and can now talk to different apps installed on the device and share information. Third party widgets, iOS 8 brings out a new feature to the fold which many users have been crying out for many years, widgets. Widgets will live inside notification center and not on the home screen, which might prove to be a bummer for some, but Apple is finally granting us something which we've been crying for a long time, so let's not go bashing them about it. Third party keyboards, that is not a lie, iOS 8 will allow users to install custom keyboards and they can use system wide. In short, keyboards like swipe, swift key, etc. will soon make their way to your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. Touch ID and camera APIs. Touch ID is finally getting more useful in iOS 8, apart from just being a phone locking mechanism, allowing developers to harness its power in one of their apps using the official Touch ID API. The camera API is also being opened up a little more to devs, giving access to things like exposure, controls, or white balance. Compatibility. iPhone users, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C will be able to get iOS 8. iPads, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPad Air, iPad 1 mini, iPad mini with retina display, you are also supported with iOS 8, and iPod touch, only iPod Touch 5th generation is supported and iPhone 4 is not supported so you might need to get an upgrade like I do now as I have an iPhone 4. Finally, release date. iOS 8 beta available to day 2 developers. Will be available to the public for the above mentioned iOS 8 devices in fall 2014. 
And yeah, I hope the video is not actually that long. I think it'll be around six to eight minutes. But hopefully I've cut it down quite a lot. You see, I didn't tell you much information about it, but I just picked out the key features about what said at WWDC 2014. So as the event goes on, I'll be keeping you up to date. So subscribe to my channel, like the video, and there will be more coming. And yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe, rate, and peace.